So how do you know that uh, such a transaction is a financial assistance transaction? So the circumstances are like uh, if there is a subscription or purchase or acquisition of the company's share and it is a company whose share uh, which is being acquired or subscribed for that provides assistance and the financial assistance is given for the purpose or in connection with the subscription of the purchase of the company share. So basically it have just happened within one company eh? uh, in that particular uh, in that particular company alone which actually help out and uh, for somebody to buy out their sh- uh, to buy their share so and then the money comes from that particular company so that is financial assistance now financial assistance uh, transaction may also occur when the subsidiary provides eh, the financial assistance eh, to anyone uh, to subscribe or to purchase shares of its holding company now do you need uh, the shareholders approval um for public companies, you need special resolutions. You can be passed at a meeting of shareholders. Uh, for private company, may by way of a written resolution. Okay. Uh, can we look at one case? Uh, Datuk Tan Lente and Sajana. Now, in this case, the plaintiff, eh, who is the Datuk Tan, uh, he is actually majority shareholder in the company. Uh, he challenged eh, there was a transfer of the company's uh, property. Uh, he challenged on the basis that that particular transfer is a financial assistance. Uh, because in that particular case, uh, defendant, which is the Sajana, he entered, uh, uh, Sajana, which is the company, entered into agreement for the sale of their land to this one, uh, Pasti Hasil, uh, another company. Uh. Now, there was a, a SMP agreement uh, on the sales and purchase agreement. Uh, basically, uh, the sale was for 1 million. And in that agreement, the uh, one million was re, uh, to be released uh, directly to Sajana, and for the purpose of increasing Pirak capital. Now, uh, there's no problem when you sell off your land. Of course, you're gonna get money, but there was a trick here whereby uh, it was meant for the purpose of increasing uh, Pirak capital. So, when increasing Pirak capital, it shows that there was share being subscribed. And this was subscribed by solely the developer, right? So it is solely by the uh, pasir hasil here. Okay. Now, uh, defendant, uh, which is Datuk Tan, uh, uh, sorry, plaintiff, which is Datuk Tan, um, actually was uh, against it, and he said that this is financial assistance. Now, uh, Sajana actually passed the resolution allotting the shares to pasir hasil. Okay. Uh, and Datuk Tan sought declaration that allotment of the shares was void and it was in contravention of the uh, the previous act eh, which is 1965. Uh, the court decided eh, there was financial assistance transaction uh, when the company transfer is asset to the purchaser of the company share. So the share here is the uh, the assets. Eh? Uh, from the facts of it, the purchaser acquired the shares of the company at no cost. Right? Uh, by right, there should be two payment. One payment is for the sale of the land. Another payment is for the uh, uh, purchase of the share. So basically, when a uh, company sell off, right, uh, uh, sell off their land, they should get the money, and the money should come from the purchaser. But then, uh, basically, the money doesn't come anywhere. There was no money involved, right? From the facts, purchaser acquired the shares at no cost. The fact that the company did not receive any payment showed that the payment uh, for the share was a mere illusion. So the thing is, company lost its uh, land and also the company has no shares. Right? Because uh, company has lost actually his shares because it has been subscribed. And the fact that there was no, there was no money come in. Okay, so that is a financial assistance. That is uh, prohibited. Uh, you can actually have uh, financial assistance but uh, it is subject to the uh, to the act. So, you are allowed to have financial assistance as long as you follow the whitewash, uh, whitewash procedure under section 126 yeah, to which assistance only uh, limit up to uh, 10% of the shareholders fund. Okay, and then uh, section uh, 125 provides for the exceptions. Uh, there are a lot of exceptions there. Have a look yourself. Uh, but one of it probably uh, if the company is a uh, lending uh, 
lending company basically uh, the lending of money is the ordinary cost of business then uh, there's no problem so look at section 1 to 5 uh, for all of you have look at all these cases uh, these two cases Belmont Finance Corporation uh, Limited and Williams Furniture Limited number 2 reported in 1980 uh, volume 1 of the All India Report at page 393 and case uh, EHD Limited. Uh, have a look at these two cases. Okay, uh, We can discuss uh, during lectures and as well as tutorials.